I want to share a vision with you today and the reason I say I want to share it quickly is because I feel there's a great urgency to share it because it's it's going to be fulfilled soon it's going to come quickly and the the last time I saw a similar picture was just before COVID was just at the start of 2020 I was in a church service I was in worship and I saw God very clearly put on a helmet and ride into battle and I could just sense that God was saying, I'm going in to do war fair now. I'm going into the nations to, to basically judge and to do battle with the world. And I didn't know COVID was just around the corner. At the same time, Pauline, my mother, she had a vision of Jesus and she saw him like a lion and he was roaring. But the intensity of the roar was so great that it went through her. She felt like she could feel the roar, not just hear it, she could feel it. And, and it literally reverberated around the earth and that was two weeks before we went into full lockdown just two weeks we had no idea it was coming but we sensed in the spirit that something was happening I had a vision on the 2nd of January basically this week and I was praying I was in prayer and I saw Jesus next to me and I saw him very clearly put socks on uh, long socks and then boots or shoes, some kind of footwear. And I knew this had a meaning. I knew this was significant. What really astounded me, though, was I was in the same room the next day. And Pauline, who, who runs City Lights with me, um, we were about to have a, a meeting, a prayer meeting. And she put on her socks and shoes in exactly the same way as I had seen Jesus do it, exactly. And do you know what she said as she put them on? She said, when I look at these shoes, they remind me of God. There was a, there was a reason for that. Um, there was, it was a supernatural provision thing for her. But you know, I was just blown away by what I had seen the day before and that day when Pauline enacted what I'd seen Jesus do. You're probably thinking, what is the significance of Jesus putting on socks and shoes? And that is what I want to share with you because I feel it's very important for us to take hold of at this time. The first thing I want to share about this vision is that I believe it represents a shaking that's coming. And the reason I say that is because the last time I saw Jesus or God put on this helmet and go into battle in a similar way. Dressing for and getting ready for action was just before a major shaking around the world. And you know what it was? It was COVID. And Pauline just this week, independently of what I'd been hearing, seeing, sensing, said to me, Luke, I feel another shaking is coming. I remember the months before COVID, before March 2020, where it all kicked in for the West. And I remember the winds were so strong, they were blowing. And right now, all around me, I'm, I'm down by the, the sea, there, there's such strong winds and they've been blowing for the last few days. And I really feel it's a sign that something's coming again, that there's a, there's a major shaking. I think the Ukraine-Russia war was a shaking. It shook things up. It affected, you know, oil prices. It affected energy. It affected uh, food and other resources. It affected the, the geopolitical stability and alignment of the nations. But I feel like another shaking is coming. This is not to alarm us. We shouldn't be alarmed because God is shaking things to see what remains, to see what he has planted. And that's us. That's you and I, the people of God, the bo body of Christ here on the earth. But I feel like something is coming, something big this year. Get ready for it. Don't be alarmed by it, but say this is God. God is at work among the nations. The second thing that I believe uh, represent, was represented by Jesus uh, putting on socks and shoes is that Jesus is going into battle again. He's going into battle his enemies. I believe he's going into battle the nations. He's going in at a top level and he's going to deal with leaders. He's going to deal with institutions, nations, organizations that have dealt wickedly. You see, God allows sin to go on only for so long. 
He gives people a chance to repent. He he gives people a time. He doesn't just suddenly judge sin straight away. So maybe sometimes he does. Maybe sometimes there's immediate um, recompense. But a lot of times we don't see God's justice manifested or come about until sometime after. And I really feel that God is saying that time is coming now. It's coming quickly. And, you know, if if there are nations in sin, if there are people in sin, I would say if you're watching this, get right with God right now. Now is the time to repent and turn back to him before it's too late. But Jesus is going into battle and not just against principalities and powers in high places, but also against your enemies, also against those enemies that have been ter tormenting you, harassing you, afflicting you, maybe even for years. I believe that 2023, Jesus is going to set you free and you're going to come out of this year free indeed and you're going to know that the sun has set you free and those things that you're seeing right now that that have been in your face those giants those mountains you will see no more in jesus name i believe that and i declare that right now today and and jesus is going into battle against his enemies and the third thing that i believe we need to take from this vision that i've had is that there's about to be a mobilization of the church like we have never seen you know the word that i shared for 2023 was revolution and i've heard other prophetic voices use that same word talk about a coming revolution i've heard it in the media on the news um, even you know in in countries that they're going to see or they're seeing revolutions right now people rising up and uh, and, and i think it's going to increase we're going to keep seeing that word revolution but i but i believe as well that Jesus is mobilizing. That's another word. Mobilization is going to be a mass mobilization of the church this year. What for? For evangelism. And this is why. It's because Jesus was put on the shoe, putting on the shoes on his feet, on his body. Who's the body? We are the body of Christ. And he is equipping us. He's uh, activating us. He's mobilizing us. He's preparing us to go out with the gospel because the shoes represent the gospel of peace and i believe that uh, the, the, the gospel of peace and i believe that the gospel is going to go out so massively now in so many ways and it, you don't have to go onto the streets to share your faith you don't have to be on a platform in a in a big auditorium or even stadium you can you can share the gospel you can you can Live for Christ right where you are, in your family that maybe doesn't believe in God, in your workplace that probably doesn't believe in God, and you can shine your light. And, and not only that, but you can stand for righteousness. You can be bold, you can be courageous, you can speak truth when others are speaking lies. You can stand up for your principles. You can say, no, uh, this, is not of, this is not right. You know, I, I, I believe this is, this is um, godless, this is, this is uh, corrupt, and I'm standing for what's true, what's right, what's what's um, of God. And I want to encourage you today, God is literally raising up his church in a major way. We're going to be mobilized, sent out, equipped. I've talked uh, in the past about, you know, when the when the, the shout for the bridegroom comes, it says they went out <laughs> to meet him. And I believe the church is going out right now. We're not staying in our comfort zones. We're going out with the gospel, however that means for you. Maybe it means, you know, moving state, country, city, even, uh, you know, to another continent, um, maybe even just going into a new area and, and being light there and, and, and shining Christ's light. But I believe there's going to be a, a massive mobilization and we're going to be going out with the gospel boldly, fearlessly now into all the earth. It's quite interesting because um, after writing this down and, and, and seeing this, um, a friend of mine posted on on it on um on the internet that he is um hiring a 550 seater stadium and he's inviting christians to come and join him for a day of evangelism training and at the end of it they're all going to go onto the streets and share the gospel and it's a big city in england and he said you know 500 people could all see two people saved that would be a thousand people one to the lord in one 
day. That is mass mobilization. And we're going to see more of this. And it's not just about people going into the streets. It's about the church rising up and being all that it's called to be. Will you be one of those today? Are you part of the remnant that's rising up, that's going to be mobilized, equipped? I'm sure you are. And I pray that you are in Jesus' mighty name. I pray this video encourages you to do all that you can for him while we can because the boots and the shoes also represent him coming back to the earth and I believe that's pretty imminent as well you know even if it was uh, years away it's imminent and it's going to happen soon so get ready church be encouraged be prepared be um, inspired be emboldened and anointed afresh to do all that Jesus is calling you to do today amen